Welcome back to Powerland. Mm -hmm. Shares of Alibaba jumping today, even though Ant Group, which Baba partially owns, has to pay nearly a billion dollars in fines. Deirdre Bosa joins us now with today's Tech Check. So why are investors reacting so optimistically to this fine? <laughs> well, on one hand, a billion dollar fine is a lot of money. It's one of the biggest fines levied on a Chinese company by the authorities. But the bigger point which investors are reacting to is that this perhaps signals the end of all of this regulatory pressure on Ant Group that started way back in 2020 ahead of its IPO. But when you think about how much value has actually been destroyed over the last few years because of this regulatory pressure, because of changes that Chinese authorities wanted the company to make to its business model, to its profitability, it is much, much bigger than a billion dollars. Take a look at the screen right now. It, at its peak, it was valued at over $200 billion. It is now valued somewhere around $64 billion. So that is just an enormous gap. And that has also hurt Alibaba. Alibaba has about a third, a 33% stake in Ant Group. So even if this does now free up Ant to go public, eventually have an IPO in Hong Kong or the US, most likely in Hong Kong, um, so much damage has been done to the company and Alibaba, which is it's a subsidiary of. And, and uh, we've also seen some news on the, I guess, Alibaba's competitor, Amazon. We had, of course, yeah. uh, the CEO on yesterday. What did you make of that interview with John Fort? So there was sort of a silver lining for Alibaba here as well. And maybe some of that is the reason that it's doing well in the market as well. Maybe it's not just Ant Group, because you're right, it's rival Amazon. AWS, it's cloud business, which is a major player in China. So it competes with Alibaba in that market. We had Andy Jassy uh, last night saying that, you know, the Chinese cloud providers are actually really good. And he said that their AI capabilities are sort of on par with the American ones. Have a listen to what he said. There are some very strong cloud providers who are Chinese cloud providers in China. So Chinese companies in China are going to have access to AI capabilities, whether they come from U.S. companies, European companies, or Chinese companies. So, Contessa and Tyler, that's sort of a big vote of confidence from the largest cloud player in the world. He's directly referencing Alibaba because it is the biggest Chinese player globally. So perhaps some optimism there, but of course could be calculated on Andy Jassy's part, right? Um, we had reports that the Biden administration is looking at restricting Chinese companies' access to American cloud players like Amazon and Microsoft. I don't think he wants that to happen. So he's essentially saying here it wouldn't make that much of a difference because Alibaba and some of the other players have the same capabilities. So it would, would require Amazon and Microsoft to ask permission before uh, assisting Chinese customers. Is the, con uh, the converse also true? In other words, would American companies have to potentially seek permission to um, use the services of Chinese cloud providers. I can't imagine many American companies, or for that matter, American consumers, would be comfortable uh, storing, transmitting no. data through Chinese clouds. There's not a lot of reason for them to, but for that exact reason, bilateral tensions are on the rise. There could be privacy concerns, security mm, concerns, sure. plus they have a lot of players here that they can use. However, it is kind of interesting that even Chinese players don't necessarily want to use the Chinese cloud providers ByteDance, right? The parent of TikTok used to use Alibaba Cloud. It switched over to an American player because of those security concerns and it wants to be seen as separate. All right. Well, it was also facing a lot of backlash from U.S. lawmakers in different states and at the federal level as well about uh, its ties to China. So limiting those ties would seem to make a good business case for yeah. growth here. Deirdre, thank you.